Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.3 Sri Bhagavan said, O sinless Arjuna, I have already explained clearly that there are two types of fate in this world. The fate of the empiric speculators is the path of Gyan Yoga, and that of the yogis is in worshipping the Supreme Lord by offering him the fruits of their prescribed duties. Sar Ardavarshini In response to Arjuna's question, Bhagavan Sri Krishna says, If I say that worshipping the Supreme by selflessly offering him the results of one's prescribed duties, Nishkama Karma Yoga, and by the path of knowledge, Jnana Yoga, both of which are the practices to attain liberation, are independent of each other, you will again ask me to speak decisively on one of them. But as I have explained, these two types of fate, fate in karma and fate in jnana, are actually two consecutive stages on the same path. I have not said that there are two types of people who are eligible to achieve liberation. For this reason, these two verses are being spoken, beginning with Loke Smin. As explained in the previous chapter, Dvi Vita indicates two types of fate. In this regard, Krishna is saying that since in the stage of jnana the heart of the jnana is pure, he can be established in regulated self-discipline by the practice of jnana yoga. Only such persons who practice such regulated discipline are known in this world as jnanis. In the Gita 2.61, Sri Krishna says, Tani sarvani samyamya yukta ashita mat paraha vashihi yasyendriyani tasya pragya pratishtita. Therefore, one should subdue the senses by surrendering to me in bhakti yoga and remain under my shelter because only one whose senses are controlled is of fixed intelligence. Only he is stita pragya. Krishna says, On the other hand, there are those who lack the purity of heart to situate themselves on the path of jnana, but are searching for the means to attain that path. The regulative discipline of such yogis is established by following the path of Nishkama Karma Yoga, which is offered unto me. Such persons are known as karmis. In the Gita 2.31 it is said, For a Kshatriya there is no better engagement than the fight for religion. The terms karmi and jnani therefore are only appellations. However, generally, when karmis begin to purify the hearts by the process of selflessly offering the fruits of their work to the Supreme Lord, they too become yanis, who can in turn become liberated by the process of devotion to him. This is the import of my statements. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti The various processes of karma, yoga, jnana and tapasya, austerity, cannot independently award the results of practicing them. Only by taking support of bhakti are they able to produce any beneficial result. Bhakti, that is beyond the modes of material nature, however, can avoid Krishna Prem independently without the help of these other processes. Bhakti Yoga that is mixed with 
Jnana or Karma is the means to attain liberation. There are two types of staunch faith related to this practice of mixed bhakti. Those with pure hearts possess the first type of faith. They ascend to the path of bhakti yoga through their steady faith in Sankhya, the analytical study of the nature of spirit and matter, or Jnana Yoga, the path of spiritual advancement through transcendental knowledge. Those with impure hearts possess the second type of faith, yet by performing selfless action offered to Sri Bhagavan, they can also ascend the path of Jnana Yoga and ultimately achieve bhakti.